Hi, um, what we're going to do now is create a graph CMS uh, project and uh, pull that information for um, for use in the Gatsby front end. So um, we're just going to um, quickly uh, run through setting up a project in graph CMS with some simple fields and uh, we're going to configure that in Gatsby. Um, and then surface the data we've created in Graph CMS in Gatsby. So, start. Uh, so we're going to um, Graph CMS first of all, and log in or create an account if you haven't got one already. Um, it's a great, great tool. Um, highly recommend it um, for anyone that wants a uh, headless CMS. So we're in my current projects. Set up a new one. Uh, projects projects list okay create that and then uh, choose a plan developer continue okay there we've got our dashboard here what we need to do is uh, in the schema we find um, a, a model content model uh, so this is just going to be pro, uh, projects a projects list um, I'm going to create a model for the projects and in there we're just going to have two content types um, of um, a text uh, um, title and a description the so project title project description project rather than projects because it gets pluralized um, when, you, when you're creating a model. So um, title and uh, description. Did I? Multi-line? Oh, didn't drop it exactly in the right place. Uh, description. Cool. Let's, uh, let's create some content edge in our system. Um, right, content uh, project sets. Uh, okay, so create projects up here. Top right, and then we'll just set this to published already, and we'll give it uh, project one description description one, um, and create that, and then just just for uh, the visual appeal will we'll add in several more. Duplicate this one. Project two, description two, published, create. We'll just put in, put in two more. Um, if, yep, okay, it's going to create them for us. Three. Wow, this is slow, slow connection. One more. Brace the leg. Number four. Number four. Create. Okay, so uh, we've got a project, we've got some content in it. Um, we can now go to our uh, API Explorer, which is just uh, graphical and uh, open up query so curly braces come on space and uh, we'll get a list of fields we can query on so, uh, a lot of these i mean assets or when you put in assets in there um, you can link them to a content model uh, what we're interested in is our projects which is done so uh, again i just did control tab and then selected projects and control enter and it will populate the rest of it so we'll put in status title and description and uh, control enter again. Get our nice list of our data back in JSON format. So this is going to be the shape of the data we get in our front end um, when, we, when we query it in, in, in Gatsby. So that's pretty much it for uh, the graph CMS side of things. We just need to go into our settings here. Um, take this from protected to, to read. If we need to do that. Um, 
and then that's in the public I have API permissions uh, to read then I just need to get a copyright endpoint here and that's it so let's go and uh, get that into our front end so we're going to use code sandbox dashboard and um, my internet so slow and from here we create a sandbox which will be uh, Gatsby and then the, the first thing we need to do is um, add our source plugin which is going to be Gatsby source GraphQL so it will fork this sandbox um, so, oh sorry our dependencies to add let's be source graphql and it's going to fork this project fork sandbox um, and then while we're waiting for this to, to spin up here we can, uh, we can go and configure our um, our graph cms so in the uh, gatsby config that's the bottom here and uh, it's an object and um, I want to resolve resolve I'm going to follow the convention of the backticks here Gatsby source uh, off you up and then this takes some options uh, which is also an object these options are the type Type name, which I think is uh, the internal GraphQL name for Gatsby. Uh, so this is going to be Graph CMS, and then we want the field name we're, we're querying. Uh, we can call this whatever we like. Uh, we will call it um, Graph CMS. Graph CMS data. And then the last thing we need is the URL that we uh, copied I'm going to paste it in there so if we hit wait for this to finish oh yes finished we might need to restart it <laughs> so let's just uh, hit save on that pop this into it from here underscore three underscores graph QL. Nope. Okay, pop this out. So forward slash one, two, three GraphQL. And this pops up the uh, the Gatsby graphical explorer. So again just opened up two curly brackets, command space. And then we've got all of the, uh, the the fields we can query within Gatsby. So uh, we've got all the site data, uh, which shows us the pages we've got available. Uh, but but for us, we want to query the uh, the field we added, which was graph graph CMS data. It's not in here, so we're going to need to. Our sandbox. Go on. This. That. Let's just take a look at the terminal. Let's do that. Right. Okay, what we got? Unable to find Gatsby source GraphQL. Okay. I'll type. Big, big, I'm looking at it. <laughs> right, there we go. Again, again, restart. Find our output. Rebuilding now, here we go. Two. Oh, oh, it's just opened up graphical here as well. Fantastic. 
Right. This is the uh there's that as the starter. Okay, so put that back to our uh graphical load up, yep, okay, cool. So um we do uh control space again. Should have our yeah, graph see my data now. So um and we want don't node we want a project projects we do we go okay id status title uh, description you enter okay so our data there early a cat going right so this is the actual sh the query we need in our sandbox over here so um we're going to go to the files source uh pages Lepus. and uh, in our index we're gonna bring in the uh graph ql export and here a query or uh, query which is going to be uh graph ql and it's a back ticks and then basically our, our query just defined in the uh, graphical explorer so um it's guess it's great for this sort of thing because you can sort of build up your your query you want to actually use within your app so i've just taken it like the, the basic list of fields there you can, you can do a lot more with that so hit save now this query is now available to the app but but we can't see it so let's use um something to to, to visualize that and a, a great thing to do that to use do for that is um whereas boss has a really nice little react component called dump um which is just nice visualization of of your your props um uh, which you you know pass to a component so let's just take a copy of this And uh, in our sandbox components file um, dot, dot js copy pasta. Thank you, Wes. And uh, back to our index file, and we'll import the dump from uh, components dump. that this dump and then just pass it what we want to the props we want to pass it, it's going to be data um, you can name that prop whatever but the actual data you pass in needs to be um, in here so um, that's going to come from the GraphQL query here um, it'll get passed into the into this component we need to uh, destructure it out um early braces there use it in in our component here so we hit save um ah, there we go we've got our data now we can manipulate this uh, uh, you know as we need it um it's just a really high level uh quick way, way to uh get the, the data from graph cms into uh our gatsby front end so there you have it